Back again here at the Mirrorfit HQ, and I'm here to give you a little helping hand, talking about plyometrics, whether it's for sport, whether it's for performance, whether it's just to feel better about yourself and for functionality, I'm here to give you a helping hand, so let's go. Let's start with the basics. Now, obviously I'm here to help you, but fundamentally you've got to know the basics. Let's start with a single leg hop, yeah? As simple as it sounds, a single leg hop is all about control and functionality of popping off the floor. Now, it sounds simple, but I want to see how high you can go. As it's a measure of strength and explosivity and reactivity of the floor, you want to be careful about how you're applying the forces and making sure that you're comfortable where you are and how you're doing it. A measure of progressing with this might be adding weights, whether it be a dumbbell either by your side or wearing a weighted vest. Next up, we're talking about 180s, and I'm not talking about going to the skate park. Literally, you are gonna be facing one way and figure out how to get to the other side, facing the other way. Talking about stability, talking about explosive movement, and actually encouraging some form of rotation. Gonna go one way clockwise and counterclockwise. This is something that you wanna be able to stick on the landing, activating those tendons, and you wanna feel comfortable doing it. Now, the quicker you can do it and the higher you can do it, shows some form of progression. Now, combining the two, let's talk about some form of multi-directional movement. Now, you've done some single leg jumps. Now, let's see if you can make a box and a square. Let's see if you can move around in a circle with it. Let's see if you can move in different directions, whether it be on single leg, and then you can move to double leg and go back to single leg. These are all ways of getting that kinesthetic feedback through the body, understanding where you are and how fit Things feel. You want to be explosive, you want to be reactive, and you want to feel comfortable because you've got to be in control the whole time. And we're not done there because we've got some more. So make sure you follow for part two.